Hey guys, thanks for watching Precision Rifle Network. I'm Joel. Today, how to shoot off of a tripod. I'm going to show you three popular ways to do it. All right guys, so the first thing you want to know is what height to set your tripod. What you're looking for is probably about your sternum level, right? Find your nipple line and then go just about an inch and a half to two inches below that, that little soft spot where they do chest compressions on you. I know, for those of you that know, you know. Anyway, bad experience. That's about the spot that you want to set up your tripod as far as your, your height is concerned. So set your tripod up to about sternum level. And then with your rifle, you want to make sure that you find the balance point of your rifle as it's connected onto here, okay? You don't want it too far back where it's sagging down. You don't want it too far forward. You want to find that balance point of the rifle where it'll just sit there on its own and just hang out. And then we'll lock it in at that point. Now this is just the first way that I know of to shoot off of tripods. And you can't say right way when it comes to shooting off of tripods. I'm gonna show you three popular methods. You can choose, you can try it, figure out what works best for you. But I'm just gonna show you the, the kind of the three main ways that I know of to shoot off a of tripod. So just like all fundamentals would dictate, you need to square up behind your rifle. So I like to have the two um, supports of my legs flat across back here and out at an angle from my sides and then one tripod leg pushing forward um, you know utilizing that that good triangle support and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to square up straight behind my rifle the same way as if i was laying down prone okay i'm going to address the rifle the exact same way so i'm going to point the rifle to the target and then i'm going to point my body to the rifle straight behind now i'm shooting uh, a 2 MOA plate at 400 yards, which is a fairly standard plate size for us. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to look through the scope and I'm going to find my target and then I'm going to put my crosshairs about 5 tenths below the target so that then when I get my cheek weld into it, I'm pushing that, that reticle up onto target where it needs to be. You don't want a ton of influence into the gun. You don't want to move it around a whole lot, so you don't want to push into it real hard with your shoulder, but you do want a little bit of pressure with your shoulder so that hopefully you can spot your misses or your impacts. Your offhand, you can just put up here on top of the tripod to support. There's a couple different things that we're gonna do with that hand as we go, but this is just the first method. So let me see what we get here. So a couple of impacts there. So speaking about tripods, typically uh, ball heads or the, or the type of, of uh, platform that you use to shoot off of come into the discussion, okay? You've got ARCA clamps, which most of these chassis and even our stocks anymore, we put ARCA rails on the bottom of them so that you can use different types of, of rail systems or barricade systems for shooting off of in competition. Most of these chassis will attach directly to the top of your tripod via ARCA rail or ARCA clamp. The tripods are already set up to do that. That's the best way to do it in my opinion. Um, that's what I highly recommend. I feel like it's the most sturdy, the most stable. You can find the perfect balance point. A close second to that would be something like a hog saddle, which you know you can get from, from hog saddle. Uh, I'll leave a link to theirs uh, in the description below. But um, something that you can clamp the rifle into, it needs to be uh, on a balance point, needs to be able to stay flat, and it needs to be tight in the clamp. Okay, so I really like the, the Arca for that reason. I can slide it to the exact perfect point, it's fast on, fast off, where the hog saddle, you kind of have to unscrew that. Really not a big deal in a, in a hunting or a, you know tactical situation, but there is a difference there. Um, the, the last method that sometimes you'll, you'll get guys doing is just putting a game changer bag or some sort of a barricade bag directly on top of the tripod. Again, nothing wrong with that either. It, with that system though, it's hard to kind of lean into the gun in any way, shape, or form without the gun sliding on top of the barricade bag. So. All right guys, now for the second method, you want to kind of turn the tripod around exactly the opposite of what I just told you. First time we were flat across the back, now we want to have a leg pointing straight back towards us and the flat part of the tripod 
out away from you, okay? And then we're gonna mount our rifle again, the exact same way. We're gonna find our balance point, right about there, and we're gonna lock it in. And again, find our target. Same as before, about five tenths below the target, but centered up. If you have to count for your wind, you wanna get this set up ahead of time, just the way you're gonna need it. So now, we're gonna take our shot, and this time, with our body squared up behind the gun, we're simply gonna take our, our off hand, and we're gonna grab on to this, this support on the tripod that's running down, the leg that's closest to us, cross our body, and lean into that. Now, what you need to be aware of is that when you lean into that tripod, it's gonna raise your crosshairs just a little bit. So you might need to account for that in your setup. So let's go ahead and take two more shots. Same 400 yard, two MOA target using this method. That was an impact. And that was an impact. So that's the second method. All right guys, and for the third way, we're basically just using a combination of the second method that I showed you, but we're adding a sling. And what the sling does is it pulls pressure down on the front of the gun, and then you take and attach the sling to your waist. I'll show you like this. We've got our flush cup up on the front of the rifle. We're gonna run this through the legs of the tripod, and then connect it to our waist. What it does when we step back into our position, we wanna tighten this up. Not only do we have point of contact here, now we've got another point of contact up in front, pulling the front of the rifle down, should help you mitigate recoil quite a bit. So we're gonna go ahead and take our same 400 yard target shot again. With ammo would be good. All right guys, so that was three of the popular ways of shooting off a tripod, at least that I know. There may be more from uh, guys who do this actually, uh, you know, for a living. Um, but as far as I've been taught and I know, those are the three kind of main ways of shooting off of tripods. If you go to kneeling, it's exactly the same. You just address the rifle the same as far as your fundamentals are concerned, squared up, straight behind the gun. Nothing changes if you go to a, to a kneeling position uh, on a tripod, okay? Okay guys, something else you want to consider um, when choosing a tripod is weight rating, all right? You want to have something significant. I would say if you've got a 20 to 25 pound rifle, um, you probably want twice that in tripod weight rating, okay? So you're looking at 40, 45, 50 pound weight rating on your tripod. The more, the better, right? You want this as stable a platform as possible. So this is where you get into having to spend some money on tripods. Unless, of course, you go with, um, you know, an aluminum model like the uh, PIG 0311G from Hog Saddle. Great tripod that won't break the bank. It is metal, it's slightly heavier, but it's got a good weight rating. Uh, you've got your really right stuff um, setups. Pretty much all of these have a high weight rating. You've got your Leo Photos, uh, which are great tripods and have a significant weight rating on them. So you can put a heavy gun on, you can put your body weight into it, you can hang a pack from underneath them. It'll support the weight and keeps things nice and steady. Consider supporting through Patreon. Um, YouTube demonetizes every single one of my videos now straight out of the gate. Make no money from YouTube whatsoever. I want to keep this channel up and running, so I need you guys' help. So consider supporting through Patreon. You can find the link below. Tune in again soon, guys, for another great video from Precision Rifle Network.